Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my DDD deck profile for November 2015. Uh, it's a really fun deck that a lot of us have been waiting for. We got a good chunk of the support in the newest set, Dimension of Chaos. Uh, still missing some of the support, like Lilith and the Synchro and some Fusion support, but I thought I'd bring you guys a deck with what's viable in the deck now. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I run three uh, DDD King Abyss Ragnarok, uh, he's your main pendulum of the deck, uh, is very good, very easy to get out. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one DDD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use this effect of Abyss King Ragnarok once per turn, and once per turn you can tribute uh, another DDD monster to target one monster your opponent controls and banishes it. So along with having easy exceed summon plays after you pendulum summon this guy out, you could possibly pen, um, special summon another monster, um, like Burfermet, we'll get to him later, with this guy's effect. Um, he has great stats just to sit on as well, and he's a pendulum summon monster, so you can get him to the extra deck and back again next turn if also. And also in your pendulum scale, if you special a DDD monster, except during the damage step, you could target one DD in your graveyard, and any battle damage your opponent takes this turn is half. And if you do, you can special summon that monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. I love him for the monster effect. It's so versatile. You can get a lot of plays off with this guy. So that's why I definitely want to run three of him. And I also run three Kepler and three Galilei. Uh, these numbers are probably going to change um, after uh, we get the rest of the support, like I stated, uh, but I'll go through each one so far. Uh, with Kepler, if this card is no more special, you can activate one of these effects. You can only use uh, the effects of D uh, Savant Kepler once per turn. I could target one DDI control, return it to the hand, or I can add one dark contract from my deck to my hand. So I like Kepler basically because he's a search effect, and then I can use him for, let's say, fusion or exceed summons if I want. Um, depending on what the play calls for, for what contract I add with him. And with Galilei, I uh, run three of him. He's the one that's most likely to be reduced when I get the other cards. During either player's turn, I can discard this card, then target one DD or dark contract I control, return it to the hand. I can only use this effect once per turn. So Galilei is good basically because he helps me avoid any burn damage that I would get next turn with the contract cards. Plus Kepler and Galilei are the scales of 1 and 10, making for easy pendulum summons as long as you avoid their nasty effect of them raising and lowering their scales and destroying any monsters that are above or equal to those numbers that they become. So you want to avoid that by exceed summoning. Um, it's a great way to get around that little uh, tidbit. And I also run three DD Rebel King Leonidas. Only have two at the moment. Uh, te just, you know, teching in one Pandora as a proxy until I can get the third one. Uh, its effects, its monster effect is amazing. Once again, like Ragnarok, my favorite effect. Uh, you, If you take damage, except during the damage step, you have for effect damage, I can special summon this card from my hand, and if you do, I gain life points equal to the damage I took. And its other effect is I take no effect damage. So it stops all my contracts from hurting me, and its um, pendulum effect is when you take effect damage, except during a damage step, you can destroy this card, and if you do, um, any effect damage that will inflict to a player this turn increases instead. So he helps with just completely stopping burn damage. The monster effect makes him very easy to special summon out. And the fact that I will now not take any damage from my contracts helps as well. And I also run three Swirl Slime. Swirl Slime is awesome just because he's great for the fusion effect. Um, just have to, you know, send him in another DD to the graveyard to fusion summon. And then if I use uh, Swamp, I can get two fusions out in one turn by only using two monsters. So it's really great. Um, and I also run two Necro Slime. With Necro Slime, basically, I can banish this card from my graveyard and another DDD monster to fusion, once again, a DD, uh, D fusion monster. Uh, very easy to utilize these cards. Uh, if I swim Necro Slime with Swirl Slime, there's the fusion there. Then I can banish Necro Slime with Swirl Slime for another fusion if I don't have the King of Swamp uh, contract card. I only like running two, though, basically because you have to have him in the graveyard to use his effect, um, which can be kind of a dead draw if I opened up with three of him and not any of the contracts. But Swirl Slime is always usable, um, so gets him in the graveyard. So it's a very easy card to manipulate. And I'm also running three DD Berfermet. 
Uh, this card will probably also change when we get more support, but I like it at three for now. Uh, its effect is once per turn I can target one DDD I control that has a level except for Birth from it and declare a level from one to eight. Its level becomes that level until the end of the turn. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except DD monsters. Um, once again, just easy exceed summons if I need to get a uh, level eight monster up to Ragnarok's level. Birth from it can help with that so I can get out cards like Kali Yuga. And that is it for monsters. We'll move on to spells. I run three, Dark Contract with the Swamp Gate. Uh, this is basically your fusion card. I can fusion uh, one Fiend Fusion from, from my extra deck using monsters from my hand or side of the field. And also, I can also use monsters that are in my graveyard by banishing them. And like all Dark Contract cards, I take 1,000 points of damage during each of my standby phases. Uh, very, or, uh, very easy card to use. Very easy to fusion summon with that card. You get a lot of... Uh, materials in this deck that you can use so it's a great card to utilize and I also run three dark contract with the gate this card's basically your searcher I can add one DDD monster during my main phase from my deck to my hand I can only use this effect once per turn um, once again it's just a searcher simple as that and the 1000 points of damage effect also applies for this card and I also run one trade in. I had it at two, but I like it now at one just because we only have three targets with this card. We don't have the rest of the DD uh, D monsters that are level eights yet. So when we get them, maybe I'll bump it up to two, most likely. And I also run one Allure of Darkness, uh, one one for one, and three MST, just because you want to make sure back row is clear. If they screw up your big plays, um, you really, um, you know set yourself into a corner with that, so you want to make sure you get your big plays off, because those are what win you the game. And I also run one Regeki and one Foolish Burial. The Foolish helps to get uh, Necro Slime into the graveyard. And for traps, I run two Dark Contract with the Witch. Um, you can send one DD or Dark Contract from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use the effect of this Dark Contract of the Witch once per turn. And all Fiend types I control gain 1,000 attack during your opponent's turn only. And once again, the 1,000 points of damage. Um, pop effects, really good. Uh, something the deck definitely needed. Um, you just got to avoid the 1,000 points of damage. Too many contracts will kill you if you know how to you know, at least play with them so you don't have them on the field. Or you're not taking any effect damage, which is easy to do. And I also play two Dark Contract with Airs. This is pretty much your trap stun of the deck. Once per turn, if I control a DDD monster, I can negate all trap card effects on the field. So this also helps with getting your plays off. Knowing you don't have to worry about traps really helps. And I also run two Contract Laundering. Uh, basically, destroy as many Dark Contracts and your spell and trap cards as possible. And if you do, draw cards equal to the number. Then gain 1,000 points of life for each one you draw. So if I have three Contracts and I make use of them uh, right before, you know, my turn comes up, I can blow them up, gain 3,000 life, and um, draw a card for each one. So it's not really a minus. It's just a minus, you know, for the Contract itself. That is it for the main deck. We'll move on to the extra. I run... Three, uh, Oracle, King to Arc. Only have two at the moment. Uh, we'll be picking another one up soon. Uh, it's a fusion monster that requires two DD monsters. Uh, it's simple effect. Any effect damage that would inflict damage to you makes you gain it instead. He's got great attack stats, and the fact that all your contracts make you gain life now are really great with this card. And I also run uh, three, but only have two once again of the DD D wave of bling King Caesar Ragnarok, uh, just another great fusion to make use of. Uh, once per turn, when an attack is declared involving this card, I can target one other DDD or Dark Contract hybrid to control, return it to the hand. And if I do, I target one of my opponent's face-up monsters, equip it to this card, as long as it's not the card that I am attacking. So, and I gain attack equal to that monster that I equip. So, bigger numbers when I'm hitting my opponent's monsters. You need two DDD monsters to make him, though, so you'll have to wait till you get your bigger plays or have your Ragnaroks out to fusion summon into this guy. And I also run... One DDD Duo Don King Kaliuga. Uh, you need two level eight DD uh, monsters to make this. And when this card is exceed summon for the rest of the turn, all other cards on the field are negated. And also, uh, card effects on the field are negated. And once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one exceeds material from this card to destroy all trust, spell, or traps on the field. Um, then you can target one dark contract in your graveyard and set that card. So he's great setup, negates all of the cards on the field, which I think is awesome. Pretty much means he's the play that's going off this turn. Nothing else can stop him. So it's a great card to make use of. 
and also we're on one DDD Wave King Kaiser. Uh, he's the one that saves your monsters by detaching exceed material from him for everyone that's destroyed this turn. Uh, I like just wanting run of him. I don't really use him too, too much. I also like using him because I can get Marksman King Tell out uh, by overlaying on top of him. Uh, just a little small play that I enjoy. And I also run one Cowboy, one Dark Rebellion, one Arc, one Castell, one Red Eyes Metal Flare. I uh, love getting that card out. And one Felgram. So yeah, that's it for the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, was really excited that I was able to make this deck. Can't wait till we get the rest of the support for it. But I hope you guys enjoy testing out too. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.